think people are getting a little bit better at understanding what Vince McMahon is doing compared to what Triple H is doing. I think people are understanding a little bit better the discrepancies between Raw and SmackDown. If you look at WWE going into Backlash, a lot of Backlash does not make any sense. A lot of Backlash feels rushed. A lot of Backlash, honestly, feels like a Vince McMahon production. Now, Vince did say, while WWE announced their sale to Endeavor, that he's not in the weeds and he's running creative at a higher level. That is obviously true. Vince McMahon's in charge of everything that takes place at the top of the card. Cody Rhodes, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns. And there is a report right now that Vince McMahon's creative has been laughed at. They use the word scoffed at. The creative team laughs at Vince McMahon's ideas for Roman Reigns' opponent, at night of champions in Saudi Arabia. Vince McMahon suggested ideas for Roman Reigns at night of champions, according to Give Me Sport through Wrestle Votes, and they have learned that the creative team has scoffed at most of Vince McMahon's ideas. Now, Roman Reigns, rather surprisingly, is without an opponent, with one month left to go before night of champions takes place in Saudi Arabia on May 27th. No one knows who WWE has gone out there and got for Roman Reigns. And WrestleVotes is claiming that his opponent is unlikely to have been suggested by Vince McMahon. Night of Champions is set to be a big show for Roman. 1,000 days marking his historic title reign. And the Tribal Chief is going to set records that are rarely seen in WWE since he's won the Universal Championship on August 30th, 2020. If you guys remember, he beat Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman at SummerSlam. Roman Reigns right now is without an opponent, and WrestleVotes says this, and I quote, I was told Vince McMahon has pitched several ideas for Roman Reigns' next challenger. A few of them were even scoffed at, like none of it made any sense, end quote. WrestleVotes concluded by stating that they aren't sure of who WWE has picked to face Roman in Saudi Arabia this month, but noted that the picture should become a lot clearer next week coming out of Backlash in Puerto Rico on Saturday evening. As noted, Roman's challenger for Night of Champions isn't fully known yet, but the WWE draft did give a potential indication as to what Triple H could do. (laughs) Vince McMahon could do. Left on SmackDown following the draft, along with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has a nice little core of opponents. Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, Sheamus, Edge, and Rey Mysterio, all of whom could be potentially uh, put up against Roman Reigns at Night of Champions in Saudi Arabia. Now, they did finally say at the end of this report that the feeling coming out of Backlash this weekend Roman's plans for the show should become pretty clear coming out of Backlash with the SmackDown episode airing on May 13th, likely to be the date when Roman Reigns' challenger is revealed. I don't understand. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot in this one little report from WrestleVotes in regards to Roman Reigns. First of all, Vince McMahon is throwing idea after idea after idea after idea for Roman Reigns and whoever he's going to be wrestling at Night of Champions. So clearly, Vince McMahon is running creative at a higher level. Clearly, Vince McMahon is running creative in some aspects. So if you don't think he's a part of anything creatively, you're an idiot because it's right there in this report. He would not be booking anything at all if the proper way about this was being taken by WWE. The fact that this man is booking anything is fucking disgusting and reprehensible. I don't really understand it. Triple H is not completely in charge. So no matter what you want to say about me, oh, J.D., oh, you always blaming Vince McMahon. Why don't you blame Triple H? This is why I blame Vince McMahon. Everything you see at the top of the card is Vince McMahon's fault. It is not Triple H's creative at the top of the card. I don't know what else I have to do or say to everybody for you to understand. 
Now, Vince McMahon, his ideas are being laughed at. I don't give a fuck who's laughing at Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon gets the final say. Vince McMahon gets the final word. The more you laugh at him, the more those ideas will become a reality on television. You think Vince McMahon's the type of guy that's going to have you sit there and laugh at his ideas? He is the end-all, be-all. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Vince McMahon will pick somebody if he wants something to happen with Roman Reigns at Night of Champions. Nothing makes sense. The report said nothing makes sense. Look at Backlash. Look at Backlash. Nothing makes sense on Backlash. Seth Rollins was put into a match with Omos. I'll get into that in a second. Where's the story? There is no story. Who do you think booked that match? You think Triple H booked that match? Triple H didn't book that match. That match has zero story and zero explanation as to why it's taking place. Then we got Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes. Everybody's excited about Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes. I'm not. Do you want to know why? Because Vince McMahon is booking Cody Rhodes in the same manner that he booked John Cena against The Rock. And Cody Rhodes is taking that same exact road. Fucking curve for curve, turn for turn. Cody Rhodes is taking that same route. That's creative. That's the creative that you want on television. Boring, formulaic, redone, rehash creative. Cody Rhodes is not John Cena. Why are we taking that same road that we've seen a thousand times before Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar? Where's the explanation for it? Did we get any explanation as to why Brock Lesnar attacked Cody Rhodes? Not one single sentence came out of any man's mouth in this match as to why it happened. Nothing as far as an explanation from Brock Lesnar as, why, as to why he attacked Cody Rhodes. The explanation that I got from fans online, oh, well, Brock Lesnar doesn't need an explanation. He doesn't need to give you one. People were out there booking their own narratives as to why this happened. If you're booking your own narratives as to why this happened, then you need an explanation because you didn't get one from Vince McMahon. I don't really understand the problem with understanding that Vince McMahon is in charge at the top of the card. Look at the WWE landscape. They are going to announce an opponent on May 13th, according to the report. May 13th will leave them with two weeks until Night of Champions. Who on television right now coming out of a draft that just concluded on Monday last night and a draft that doesn't go into effect until this Friday on SmackDown, or not even this Friday on SmackDown, the following week on Raw after Backlash. Who on this roster are you willing to put up against Roman Reigns knowing that no matter who it is, it will be a loss? Are you willing to put Bobby Lashley in there to eat a loss? No doubt about it. What about AJ Styles? What about Sheamus? What about Edge? What about Rey Mysterio? All these names sound great, right? I mean, Bobby Lashley, great. AJ, great. Sheamus, Edge, Rey Mysterio, all great. We've seen all of them. Maybe not Bobby Lashley. They deserve a, a feud. Uh, I'm glad he moved over to SmackDown, but Bobby Lashley's not beating Roman Reigns. So, I mean... Who gives a shit? We've seen AJ versus Roman. We've seen Sheamus versus Roman. We've seen Edge versus Roman. We've seen Rey Mysterio versus Roman. He's beaten everybody. So who are you going to put on Night of Champions to go up against Roman Reigns coming off of SmackDown? There is nobody that will make sense in two weeks, and you can't risk putting somebody like that who they, all these names, need to be built up for something like Roman Reigns. Why would you do that in a span of two weeks? This is what's going to happen. I'm sorry to say this is exactly what is going to happen. There is a reason why Omos was drafted to free agency. They are going to have him beat Seth Rollins at, not at uh, Backlash and then have Omos go into Night of Champions. And he's a free agent. He can show up on SmackDown and confront Roman Reigns. He's going to beat Seth Rollins. And he's going to challenge Roman Reigns at Night of Champions for the 1,000-day title reign in the opening match of Night of Champions. Now, you're probably saying, well, what about Seth Rollins? If he beats Omos, 
Why wouldn't he get a title shot? Why would he be getting a title shot when he's on Raw? Why? If he beats Omos, he's on Raw. How's he going to go to SmackDown? And Rollins is the guy that probably is going to win the World Heavyweight Championship. None of this makes any sense. None of it. None of it. After Backlash, the feeling is coming out of Backlash this weekend, Roman's plan would become a little bit more clear. Who on that show, coming out of that show, is going to be the most logical one to wrestle Roman Reigns at Night of Champions? Omos. Omos. He's a free agent. He's going to beat Rollins. It's safe. It's an easy liability. It's uh, not a liability for WWE. An easy in and out for WWE. While Rollins can go to the finals and wrestle in the main event of Night of Champions against Cody for the World Championship and win the World Heavyweight Championship. If Roman doesn't close the show, then Roman is going to open the show. That's the way it works. Vince got laughed at. Vince is going to have the last laugh when Omos and Roman is the opening match of Night of Champions and Vince ultimately gets what he wants. How this man is booking anything at this fucking point from what you've seen coming out of WrestleMania to where we are now with the draft that was ultimately disappointing is an absolute fucking disgrace. There's a reason why there's a reason why WWE right now has fallen off a cliff creatively because you can't decipher who is who and what is what on these shows. When it's all Triple H, it's fine and dandy. I'm not saying it's perfect, but at least it ain't Vince McMahon. When you got 50-50, Triple H and Vince McMahon booking the shows, you got two worlds clashing, and then there's fucking utter chaos. That's what's happening in WWE right now. They laugh at him. Vince McMahon's going to end up getting the last laugh. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Please follow me on social media, at JD from NY206. That's Twitter. Instagram, TikTok, and Cameo. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell for all notifications. And please go check out all the other content on the channel. Plenty of it with more still to come for a brand new week of content right here on Off The Script.